uh, it looks like the day after the night before. <laughs> it sure does. Uh, or a, a scene after a major battle, doesn't it, with it these does. carcasses it's, lying here? It's amazing how many are on the beach right now. The night has resulted in many casualties. The carcasses of those that failed to make it back to sea lie scattered all around. Others have hunkered down in wet sand. So long as they can keep their gills even moderately damp, they can survive until the next tide. And this gives Glenn an opportunity to show me how horseshoe crab reproduction has been key to its survival for nearly half a billion years. Is that a female there? It is. She's been buried down since the last tide. Would she mind being dug up, do you think? Probably not. Look, she's got some nice spawning scars there. Let's pick her up. All right. There we go. Sorry, old girl. Yeah. Um, let's, right, should if I, I hold my... this down? You want to lift up the operculum? Can I keep up that? And she's got eggs. We sometimes can encourage some of them to come out. There we go. They're like caviar, really, about the same size. I haven't tasted them myself. I Have haven't you? either. Other people have. Each female lays up to 20 clutches of several thousand eggs. Although only a few will even get to hatch, such a vast quantity ensures the horseshoe crab is amongst our great survivors. And while we've got her here, we can see the other uh, limbs here. Yep. The legs, which are exceedingly, exceedingly strong, and they can, they can crush a clam if they need to. Yeah, if it's uh, not too large. She's pretty feisty. She's pretty feisty, this There's one. Her mouth right in the center right there. We can, that's where the mouth is. Yep. And they can eat almost anything that's got some nourishment in They're it. They're opportunistic feeders. I mean, they love the small little clams and little mussels, but if there's a dead fish, they'll, they'll go over and they'll eat that as well. They're just not an aggressive animal, so they can't chase after anything. So uh, that lack of choosiness might also be a factor in their survivability. Uh, well, you know, survivability. I, I, I think being a generalist is a, is a good strategy. I mean, it's just like going to a restaurant. If you can eat anything on the menu, you're going to go out full. That's right. <laughs> I think we should give her a chance to get a bit of oxygen back in her. I agree. And there she She's goes. It was rather accommodating. Thank you, Gal. Thank you. Thank you very much.